Hello friends, welcome to Pravega Education and in this video I am going to solve the question from the CSR net December 2023 examination. This question ID, first of all I am writing this, the question ID is 705034. Basically this question is from mathematical physics and if you talk about the subtopic so, this is from the advanced part from the numerical techniques, okay. And in the numerical techniques, basically this question, particular question is from the interpolation. Interpolation method, Lagrange's method of interpolation, okay. On a very simple language, you can say that basically this question will be solved using Newton's forward difference method, right. So, the data is given. And uh, the question is asking that using Lagrange's method of interpolation, the value of y at x is equal to 4 is closest to. So it's a very easy question. Let's form the table first of all. Okay. So I'm making a table here. All right. Okay. Let's suppose this is x and this is y. Okay. Or you can directly write this as, uh, okay, just, it's, it's okay, it's, you can write like x and y. So, this is 1, 3, 5. And write it down, and on this side is 4, 28, and 92. And the question is, you have to find the value of y at x equal to 4. So, at x equal to 4, we have to find the value of y. This is our question. Okay. So, for this, we need to make a table first of all. And uh, I will continue this table as like this. So, okay. So, let's find out triangle y naught, triangle y square y naught. Because uh, no need of triangle cube, because the term will be vanish up to square portion. So, how we have to find a delta y naught or triangle y naught? Just we have to minus this upper one from this lower value. So, it will be 28 minus 4, that is 24. And uh, 92 minus 28, that is 64. Okay. So, this value will be 64. And... How you will find the delta square, or triangle square, why not? Just minus 24 from 64. So, you will get 40. Alright. And uh, we have to use the forward difference method. Newton's forward difference method. What do we do? We take the values from Just you have to take these values. Okay. I am writing from this pen. So, this value. Okay. So, I am writing the values here. So the values that is y naught. Y naught value will be how much? Y naught value is 4. Triangle y naught 24. And square is 40. 4. Triangle y naught is 24. And triangle y naught square is 40. Is it? 4, 24 and 40. Okay? Okay. Now, we have to find the value of P. And after that, we will use the simple formula, a mathematical expression from the Newton's forward difference method. How you have to find the P? That is X minus X naught by H. What is X here? X is the value on which we have to find the value of Y. That is, here X is 4. Value of X is 4 minus what is the value of x0? x0 means the first value of this table. That is 1. So, x0 value will be 1. Okay. x0 is 1 and h is the step size. So, let's look at the table. Step size is 1, 3, 5. That is means step size is 2. Okay. So, h value is 2. So, from here, we are finding p is equals to 3 by 2. And we have these data also. Now, directly use the Newton's forward difference method relation. 
and this is given as y and x and this is equals to y naught plus p times delta y naught okay this is y naught plus p times triangle y naught okay p times triangle y naught plus p p minus 1 i'm writing one by one p times this triangle y naught plus p p minus 1 triangle square y naught and this is divided by 2 factorial we have all the values and we have to just put it in this equation so what we'll get value of y naught is 4 plus value of p is 3 by 2 multiply by triangle y naught is 24 plus p into p minus 1 that is 3 by 2 into 1 by 2 into delta square triangle square y naught is 40 and divided by 2 because of 2 factorial. So when you solve this, how what you will get 4 plus 36 plus from here you will get a 15. Okay. So means the value of y I'm writing here the value of y at <coughs> at x equal to 4 is equal to how much? It's 55. 55. This is correct. Option 2 is correct. Option 2 is correct one. Okay. So, like this, you have to solve this question. Thank you.